all is surely lost now. The world as we know it has gone. Brainless zombies everywhere, destroying the very earth they used to care for. Got any, got any change, Garth? Got any change? Welcome to the West Quay area of Southampton, home of vast shopping sanctuaries, enchanting eateries, and over 200 homeless people. I will be spending the next couple of days with local homeless man, Ritter Mick. Mick has been homeless for over five years and has become quite the living legend in the area. And I want to find out just how exactly a man lives his life literally out in the cold. It's not all negatives out there, you know. Somewhere, there are people out there who, nice people, are willing to help you. Get a job. Trump. So where did the name Ridder, Mick, come from? It's quite simple, really. Think of any name of any girl in the world. Any girl. Um, Princess Diana? <laughs> A Ridder! <laughs> Hiya. Oh, hi. Nice for you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. God, there really are some angels walking this earth. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you see that? That's what I say. Do unto others as you would do unto you. Go on, mate. Give us a slice. Fuck off. This, my friends, is the graveyard of the homeless. When a homeless person dies, the others, they draw a key and they put his initials next to it. Now, I've always been interested in castles. I don't really like the word homeless. Just because you don't live with a roof over your head doesn't mean you haven't got a home. One day, I'll get my key back. Your house key? Cocaine, some Colombians took it when I was sleeping. It was sometime in August. Well, aren't you the little sneak? I thought you were gonna rob me. Of course, if you've got nothing worth robbing, that is the best defense against all the robbers. Do you get many robbers around Westkey? Well, there's this streety guy. He pinched a rich geezer's wallet and he ran off with it. And I thought I'd spoil the party. And I, I ran after him. <laughs> and I, I caught up with him because the wallet was full of wonga, full of wonga. And he found it difficult to speed up. It was sort of like a concrete tail. And I caught up with him, and I got all the money back, and the wallet, and I took it back to the rich guy. <laughs> he was so pleased. He took out every single note, and he gave it to me. <laughs> he gave you the money? No, <laughs> he gave me the bloody wallet. <laughs> hey, hey, go. Do you want an Indian head massage? Or a, a wallet? Yeah, I know Mick all right. He comes here every Sunday to help the old people up the church steps next door. Really? That doesn't sound like the Ridder Mick I know. Well, it wouldn't. He's more to people than meets the eye. Did he ever tell you why it was called Ridder? He did mention it, actually, yes. I was quite interested to learn he's had sexual intercourse with both my secondary school maths teacher and Mother Teresa. So he's fooled you too? These people are homeless, not brainless. They act in a way that they believe you want them to. They believe that bravado and jokes and making you think that they've lost everything will help you open your wallet. So it's all an act? Mick met his wife in Norway. She died giving birth to their daughter. 
Mick and his daughter moved over here a couple of years later, after that to get away from the pain. She got leukaemia about six years ago. Mick refused to hear that nothing could be done, and he spent every penny he had on private health care. In the end, the last of his money went on making sure she constantly had a smile on her face, until the last time she closed her eyes for good. Her favourite book was about a Norwegian knight called Ridder Vance. He read it to her every single night. Just before she died, she held his hand and said, My dad. My hero. My Ridder. Death impacts life, but there are still some angels that walk on this earth. We should always remember the people that are still here, even when we can't forget the people who aren't. You only change me.